go shopping, we take our children sometimes, and um, they ask for things some, if, when they are especially younger, and we tell them, no, why don't you ask for something nicer? Is that all you want? And if they ask for something too nice, we might tell them, well, that's too expensive, maybe next time. Uh, sometimes we buy them what they, what they want. The point is that we do sort of complain about uh, whatever they ask for. It's part of uh, bringing up children. So we, we explain why we don't want to buy them the things immediately. They learn from it. Maybe that's the purpose of today's verse. Krishna himself seems to be pointing out something, not complaining, but pointing out that humans tend to pray to different deities for some material benefits. And then he gives a reason for why we do it. He says, we do that because we do our work for material rewards. So, you know, when we get material rewards for work, we go to Saraswati and say, give me good education, keep my sanity so that I can apply that to perform my work better and better and, and get promotions. We go to Mahalakshmi and say, make sure whatever I earn, it's preserved, it stays with me. And maybe you go to Durga and say, give me good health. I want the strength. Even as children, you know, <laughs> sometimes the prayers are proportional to our efforts. Children, uh, demonstrate that even more explicitly. Before an exam, a child who has prepared really well might pray to God and say, God, make sure that I get 100%. I don't miss anything. And a child who is uh, prepared not so well might uh, pray to God and say, please God, make sure that I pass. And the one who knows is going to fail in the exam might uh, pray that, please God, make sure that my parents don't get too angry with me and beat me up or these days. Please, God, make sure that they don't take away my cell phone or ground me, or something to that effect. So we, the kids, just like the kids, when we pray to God, we already know what we deserve. We just want to make sure at least what we deserve we get. So there is nothing philosophical I could see from today's verse. It's more of a, uh, uh, an observation for us to ponder about why do we pray. Or maybe Krishna is sort of suggesting altruistic behavior. Don't be too selfish or you are being selfish when you pray. I will leave it at that. Mm -hmm.